morning, everyone. Today, I wanted to do a little talk about what fellowship does darkness have with light? And the answer is quite plainly, none. Now, we're told in 1 John chapter 4 to discern just who is our brethren and who are not. And we do this by spirit. Now, unfortunately, the church, theologians, and such people have decided to do this by Bible doctrines and theology, uh, having correct Bible doctrines and theology, rather than discerning by spirit who is the Lord's and who is not. And Satan has come in and really made a mess of it because the people that are of God are, of course, rejected by the world. The world hates them. Jesus said, if they hated me, they will hate you also. Also, to be a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ has to do with following the Lord Jesus Christ in spirit within our hearts. It doesn't have to do with um, how, much, uh, how much we can memorize scripture and how much we can, uh, uh, how well we speak. It has to do with following him in spirit. Now, in Romans 9, it talks about predestination. And predestination simply is God chooses his people, not men. Now, in the church age, people have taken the Apostles' Commission to um, preach the gospel to the world unto themselves uh, rather than being led of the Holy Spirit and told of God uh, of just who and who not um, to preach to, quite frankly. And this is anything that's done in our own power, in our flesh, independent of God, is moving in the flesh. And a lot of institutions have decided that they have the Bible, so they don't really need God to move them because they have good Bible doctrines or their charismatic type of speakers, and therefore they're going to go preach the gospel to everybody that some might be saved. Okay, well, on the whole of it, I guess that's all right uh, for a Christian-informed nation, as it's been in the past. But the truth of the matter is, God is the one who chooses his elect, and it is for his elect's sake that he engineers the circumstances that brings them to salvation. Men cannot play God uh, and have people sign up for Jesus and, and then stand before God and say, look what I did for you. Aren't I wonderful? Because that's boasting before God. And uh, salvation is by grace and grace alone that no man can boast. <clears throat> now, this gets down to what fellowship does darkness have with light? And be advised, just because somebody is a churchman or calls themselves a Christian, or even if they know their doctrines and Bible very well, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are born again, that they are saved, that they have a personal relationship in Jesus Christ. It, and if they have no re personal relationship in Jesus Christ, they cannot hear the Lord. They cannot walk in the Spirit. They cannot follow Him. And therefore, they go out and they try to do it in their own strengths. And this is something that Satan has uh, created as a counterfeit to the truth of people that are really called and chosen unto salvation. And our disciples have chosen to make themselves a bond servant because Paul said he is a bond servant to Christ. And why did he say that he would make himself a bond servant? Simply because... Uh, we have the ability to walk away from our Lord, to act independently of him. So he chose to make himself a bond servant. Now, a lot of people make themselves a bond servant to the Bible, a bond servant to church, a bond servant to theology, a bond servant to whatever kingdom they are trying to build for themselves upon the earth. And this is what a lot of churches do, and a lot of churchers, what I call, do. Uh, but a true Christian, born-again Christian, who hears the Lord, my sheep hear my voice, Jesus says, will do 
um, will follow Christ in their spirit and not of their flesh, provided, of course, that they've learned how to walk, that they're not babes, and that they do indeed hear and follow the Lord as a disciple. You cannot be a disciple of someone if you don't personally know them. And I'm afraid this is what a lot of uh, preachers are today. They, uh, they, they use the Bible or spin, if you will, uh, to build their kingdom, to build their following, to do something for Jesus rather than being told uh, or directed by the Holy Spirit um, whom to teach and who not to teach. And the problem is when we teach the wicked the Bible, uh, and there are a lot <laughs> more smarter people than I am out there, of course, um, but then you have a problem because then, then they become a bunch of Pharisees, a bunch of intellectuals in the scriptures. And I've noticed my biggest problem has been with um, very intelligent people uh, that I discern do not know the Lord personally, but yet, yet know all the scriptures and all the verses to point out error in me or perceived errors they have in me and to point to why they are followers of Christ and I am not. But, um, and the, so this is why I can have no fellowship with them in spirit. It doesn't matter how much good Bible doctrines they can, uh, they can put forth. It doesn't matter how well trained up they are in theology. Um, all these things are academic and are done of the mind. But a true Christian, a disciple of Christ, learns how to follow and discern uh, who their brothers and sisters are by spirit. Because we follow Christ in spirit. Um, so 2 Corinthians 6.14 tells us, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion has light with darkness now a lot of churches will tell you equally yoked is talking about marriage which it certainly is uh, when the two become one flesh in marriage but it's talking uh, not only about marriage but it's talking about the true body of Christ the one set apart for his purpose. And um, this is uh, this is what we're to focus on. It's talking about a body of believers, of having fellowship. If you cannot be yoked together with somebody who does not spiritually know the Lord Jesus Christ or follow the Lord Jesus Christ in spirit, otherwise you will have division and dissension, backbiting, uh, all kinds of horrid things that we see uh, go on in churches today. Um, and this is because they are goats for the most part. They want to climb their way up the mountain to the top rather than being sheep, having a sheep nature and wanting to follow. And uh, this is something that um, I've learned as a shepherd uh, because I am a sheep and I have a sheepish nature, but I've learned that you have to be... Uh, wise as a serpent, gentle as a dove. In other words, you have to discern who is your brother and who is your sister. And it doesn't matter. It's a, And it's unbelievable to me. It's a, it's a real um, mind twister. Because when people put forth the right doctrines of the Bible or right theology, um, like I had a man do the other day, it and he says he agrees with my theology because we were on the same page of music theologically or uh, Bible doctrines, but yet there was no unification in the spirit. And it's by spirit that I can tell he's not the Lord's and that I am. And of course, he sees it the other way around. He sees that he seems to believe, I'm sure, that uh, I am in darkness, that I am confused, but I know what the truth is. And this is what we're to discern if we're true born again Christians. Ephesians 5.11, and have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove, and I try to reprove a um, so-called minister of the Lord, a so-called brother in Christ, and they don't receive it. Well, what does that tell you? It tells you that they're, that they're spiritually blind, they're spiritually deaf, 
that they will not take that reproof. Now, if they were the Lord's, then they would take that reproof. They would understand uh, what you're speaking to them because the Spirit would quicken the truth to them. So this is how you tell. So unfruitful works of darkness can be religious works. It can be evangelical work. It can be a lot of good works as well as sinful works, negative works, works of the flesh. Works of the flesh don't necessarily have to appear to be wickedness. They can be done in self-righteousness before God, trying to approve themselves before God. So that's why I wanted to make this little video today, because beware, the uh, the church, the churchmen, uh, are very, very close counterfeit to the people who actually know the Lord Jesus Christ. And the only way that you can tell them is by spirit. And therefore, when you get involved with them, like I have, you continually have to get on your knees and ask God what to do. Because if God hasn't moved you into ministry per se, like perhaps um, I believe he called me into, then uh, I could have gotten into ministry or doing a work for God in my flesh. Now, it's not necessarily the case because I could be doing a work for the Lord as he leads me. This is why it's very important to pray in everything that you do and have God's direction and not do it independently of him. Uh, but then Satan again in and, and try to kick your slats and try to tear down something of God. So you have to be very careful of who you fellowship with. Thank you, brothers and sisters. And God bless your understanding in this.